Gaffer, we're off to Wembley. How does that feel? It, it feels incredible. Um, there was stages there tonight. I thought this just isn't going to be our night, <laughs> but but yeah, to to say it and um, and for us to get there for only the third time in the club's history, it's amazing to be the th only the third manager to lead this team out there. Uh, at the Wembley Stadium is just something that I'm just so incredibly proud of and yeah, glad it's over. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to the penalties and Callum Burton in particular in a moment, but you said sometimes tonight you thought it might not happen. Try and sum up what was going on in your head when you were watching what was out what was playing out on the pitch. So it was pretty much a, um, a carbon copy of Saturday's game. I felt we Played really well, passed the ball well again, had 70% possession at half time and at the end of the game, I think. Um, created some great chances. If we'd have scored again in the first half, it's a different game. And when you have to commit so many bodies forward because of how the opposition defend, then you're always open to a counter attack and it just takes one mistake or whatever. And that's what happened for their goal. And then we're thinking, OK, we've got to work a bit harder. But credit to the players, once again, we've made changes, they've responded, changed our shape again, and we've gone on and scored an equaliser. What a goal. Ryan Hardy's goal. And then Sam Cosgrove, another sub, hits the post, and thinking, oh, my God, here we go. But, yeah, the penalty shootout was the penalty shootout, and we finally got over the line. <laughs> Let's talk about that goal, Hardy's goal. I mean, we've seen him score all sorts of goals, but that was something class, wasn't it? And it was going to take something to beat Southwood tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, he played really well, actually. Um, we've scored two from outside the box against him this season already, and we felt, get your shots away, but everything we threw at him tonight, he, uh, he had an answer for us. He made a great save down low off in his ass in the first half, and then a 1v1 against Mikel, where he'd done really well, so fair play to him, but it was going to take something special to beat him, and... In that position, there's only Ryan Hardy that could dream up of even ex trying to execute that finish, but it was such a great goal and got us back in the tie. I thought Sam Cosgrove was really unlucky with his chance to whack the post. I don't know about the, the two offside goals, and have to see it back, but um, I'm just so pleased with how we played. We played really well, and I felt all, I know penalty shootouts is a bit of a lottery, but on the balance of it, I think we deserved to go through. The penalty shootout had a bit of everything as well, didn't it? Having. <laughs> Chance to win it, not winning it again. I mean, just what, what are you saying just before it's, it's it's happening? What are you trying to get across to everybody? Uh, so before we started, just said the, the lads practice the penalties. They've we say you've got to take your match day pens because the way we make changes and, and whatever, everyone's got to be ready to step up on a normal league game and be ready to take a pen. So they practice every day. Um, and, and they're confident at it, so that was the message to them from me, just be confident, pick your spot, be positive and, and try and strike it clean. Now, I felt we struck every penalty pretty much clean. We hit the post twice, so I don't know, we've dollied one and the keeper saved it. We hit the, the post and the bar with the two that we missed, but apart from that, I couldn't really complain too much about the pens, but Callum Burton is incredible at them. He's had a lot of practice, as I say, the, the, the takers practice them every day and with Callum being the backup goalkeeper for the last 18 months he's the one who tries to save them and he's got an incredible record right throughout his career even before he came to Argyle so he's confident that he's good at them thankfully he's got us into Wembley he's very good at them isn't he he's very good at them and ju just finally I mean we, we spoke about it in the build up over 12,000 in here we saw the celebrations at the end try telling everybody around here that the Papa John's Trophy doesn't mean anything eh? Yeah, well, and look, as we said earlier on, it's going to take a bit of time to build, but the closer that it got when we went to Bristol Rovers away, we played brilliant at Bristol Rovers, thought we were excellent that night, and I just felt this, this could be our year, we could get there. Um, we've got one more game to go, and we produced a, a good performance tonight against the Cheltenham side, who again pushed us all away, credit to them. Um, and now everybody's, for our fans, have got a, a brilliant day out to look forward to at Wembley, and that result is for our fans, because... I just said it on Sky, they're the best fans in the country, in my opinion, for how far we've got to travel, and we sell out every away game. Um, so this day at Wembley is for them, and, and hopefully they look forward to it, to it this year, and then back us in this competition next year, because we'll try and do the same again if we can. No doubt a more enjoyable night watching the football tomorrow night, the second, the yeah. second semi-final. Yeah, I can relax. Oh, we'll be nearly having a heart attack. Yeah.